the week, Gareth Edwards, great rugby moments. Uh, my name is Kerry Wynne Jones. Uh, I work as an editor with Gomer Press, publishers of um, great rugby moments. We're delighted to be launching it in your company this evening in this very, very special place. Alan is, is the one who's done all the work. Um, I, I was just asked to put a forward together and um, I, was, I was just happy to do that. But yeah, Alan is, is really the guy who's done all the work on it. We've had a wonderful, I don't know, what's your, a year, a couple of months. It's, yeah. it's been wonderful. Just discussing uh, moments in rugby that, that have been uh, very much part of, the, of history. I mean, we can all have an opinion, and that's what I felt we should do with this book. I can have 50 great moments, and everybody else can have 50 great moments. We came to a decision, and we changed a few around here and there, um, but I was also impressed when Gareth said, we don't want the Welsh bias. We want to consider players and countries from all over the world. Before the semi-final stages of the 1999 Rugby World Cup, New Zealand and the Tain Randall's captaincy were quietly confident of getting to the final and winning the Webb Ellis Cup for the second time in their history. France found that force and their comeback stunned the All Blacks and the rugby world. It was a classic confrontation and described by all who saw it as the greatest rugby world cup match ever. <laughs> <laughs> 